Hi guys. Hi guys. It's Stacy and Marlin here with some healthy summer snack and tips. And actually, this is my first time on Facebook Live. Yay. And I wanted to do something fun with my friend Stacy because she has an amazing organizing business, Stacy Tones Organizing, that is really complementary to eating healthy because clearing out the clutter, clearing out your life of all the things that no longer serve you, keeping your pantry and your fridge and your kitchen really clean and full of healthy snacks can really complement each other. Absolutely. Yeah. And Stacy and I have done some work together. She's been at my events. I follow all her stuff. So I thought, let's get out there today and share some fun tips on healthy snacking. And since it's July 4th weekend, it's really a great time to kick off a great summer time, right? I mean, let's do it because I know a lot of people are going to the beach this weekend, some people are traveling, so I thought, let's tell you and share with you some of the things that I love to share with my clients and things that I love to eat as well. So I actually went to Whole Foods this morning and brought some things from my pantry and Stacey and I super made yummy. treats for you, right? Yes, yes, okay. super yummy. So. And a great alternative too for summertime where everyone's eating hot dogs and chips and ice cream and all the crap that's around. It's great. I think what Marlon is doing is showing healthy alternatives to have on hand. So if you know you're going to a party and you're just going to be around junk food all day, just take a few you know minutes to prepare ahead of time. And she's got so many great um, options that she just brought over to my house and I get to share with her but um, it's it's easy it's easier than you think to just incorporate these kind of um, habits of bringing your own stuff to really um, keep on top of your nutritional goals yeah and actually before I even dive into this for those of you who don't know me my name is Marlon and my website is MarlonDiaz.com I also it's been a long time that I've been working with clients in the LA and East Coast area and part of what I love to do is share healthy things to keep you on the road, traveling and feeling good. And should we invite some friends? Do we need to click that to invite a friend? Let's see. So yeah. we're just doing... Oh, oh no. Okay. I don't think... I Well, I don't know. Okay. Is anyone there? Can anyone <laughs> see us? If you can see us, we'd love um, some input. So if... Any of Marlon's friends or my friends, I, I think this is just on your page, but okay. if anyone's there, pop over and just give us a quick hi so we know that, um, you know, any, everyone can see this. It will be, you know, it will stay on Marlon's page for sure, so you can watch it anytime and we'll try and share share the video as well on, on my sites. All right, let's get started. So... So many people ask me about bars, bars to take on the road, things to eat healthy, snacks during the day. So there's a few bars that I really like, but today I brought something that I'm not sure that everyone knows about. So I wanted to share with you this bar. It's called Core Bar, and it's actually like a bowl of oatmeal in a bar. It's really clean. There's no refined sugar. It's made up of oats, and this one is cacao cashew, which is really great for those people that love chocolate and there's no refined sugar in the chocolate, it's just pure raw cacao and they're in chips. Within the bar are some also flax and cacao and really fun stuff. It is a little bit calorie dense so sometimes just half a bar can really satisfy your cravings and what's great about this is it's super fun to take on the airplane or with you to a hotel because many times I'll share with my clients, take a few snacks with you to get started before you know where you're going to be going out to eat or anything, you want to make sure that you BYOS, is bring your own snacks on your plane, and the better prepared you are, the more fun and the more feeling good you're going to feel. So also, the core bar comes in banana walnut, and another one is almond raisin. Have you and ever tried these? They're so good. Yeah, okay. I just tried it, yeah. And it doesn't taste like, um, like so many of the protein bars out there that I've tried just tastes like um, protein powder or they have like soy uh, isolate and whey, like all these weird ingredients that I don't know what they are and I just kind of assume it's healthy mm -hmm. because it's marketed 
that way. And I don't always take the time to read anything, but these taste like, it does. It tastes like if, if like I it's baked a bowl of oatmeal. an yeah. oatmeal bar. Or like a banana bread. bread. The, the banana walnut actually tastes like banana bread, which is really so nice. Good. And it is actually gluten-free, vegan, so it's really great. It's not paleo because it does have a little grain. So those people that can digest grains, this is great. And it's also really satisfying. And since there's no refined sugar, it keeps your blood sugar balanced. There's flax in this, so there's some really nice fiber and a bit of protein as well. So these are two favorites. You find these at Whole Foods in the refrigerated section. And if you're going to travel with them, they can stay out of the refrigerator for up to a week. Hmm. Otherwise, you just want to keep them if you if you're going to a hotel or to friends or you want to keep them in the refrigerator when you get the there or mm -hmm. cooler even cooler. These are great for the beach as yeah. well. Uh, hiking, super great for hiking. Awesome. Okay. All right. So another great thing that's really fun is this almond yogurt by Kite Hill. So this one is blueberry. It also comes in unsweetened and the vanilla. Blueberry and vanilla are my favorite flavors. And for those people that are vegan or have a dairy allergy, want to stay away from dairy, this is a great artisanal kind of artisan, pretty clean. There's one or two items in it, but it's, it's pretty clean for the most part. There is a tad of sugar in it, but it does come in unsweetened. So a lot of my clients will use the unsweetened, put some cinnamon in there, some granola maybe, and flax. You can top it off with anything that's really fun and healthy for yourself. And what we did, Stace, why don't you share what you did with some of this today? So we made a little parfait in a mason jar, which is super cute. And sorry, my culinary artistic talents aren't, looks great. Aren't, <laughs> aren't as good as Marla's. But um, yeah, it's super compact. I'm terrible at eating breakfast, so I just run out of the house normally with a cup of coffee in my system. But if I just go ahead and prepare, you know, this the night before or even like two or three at a time and store them in the fridge, I can grab one and a spoon and take it with me and before I go to the gym um, or whatever, take it to the beach. Your yeah, kids great will probably for the beach. Like it. If your great kids for the beach. You like can all commutes. And you can put some superfoods in that. You can doctor it up however you like, goji berries, any berries, any fruit in season using the almond yogurt as your base. And what we used today was this paleo nola. So this is a grain-free granola, super delicious. So good. It's really good and great for paleos. It's gluten-free, grain-free. Uh, grain it's made out of nuts and seeds. It does have a tad of sugar in it, but really on the low glycemic level. And just a little bit goes a long way. It just really, it just tops the taste buds off. And you can make these in advance, keep them in the refrigerator and then just grab and go and take them with you. Super great for the beach. Or even if you're having friends over, sitting out back by the pool, these yeah. are super to make in advance. Or, or kids love them as well. I wonder if so. you could freeze it. Like a frozen mm -hmm. yogurt kind yeah, of Yeah, I was thing. thinking that about that. Be... You could even put them in the freezer for like an hour or two before people come over and yeah. get a little on the cooler side. So Paleo Nola, this one is from Whole Foods. There are many different flavors. This is the original. They have a pumpkin spice and a few fun things. And most health stores have this. And it's also available online. So great little granola treat. Something else I wanted to share with you. These organic veggie wraps are so wonderful for using when you're traveling for the beach or if you want to make a little sandwich to go before you get on the plane, great for traveling or a car ride. And a lot of my clients love these because I love them as well. If you're staying away from bread and you want to stay away from a lot of grains, these are made up of fruits and vegetables and a little bit of flax. I taste them. Yeah. I haven't tasted them. And they look like a flatbread or a tortilla. The giant fruit <laughs> roll-up. They're a tad on the hard side when you take them out. So my recommendation is to put them on a stove top and about 10 seconds on each side. It really right. softens them up, right? This is the spicy blend and it has a little kick to it, which is really, really, really nice. And these are great to travel with. And also what we did, this is a little culinary design here. We made a little wrap that you can take with you. We put in some avocado, 
um, smashed avocado, sea salt, spinach, carrots, and you can put anything in here. If you like turkey or tuna or salmon, you can open a can of wild salmon, smash that in here. And what's so great is you can serve it right away or you can take it with you on an airplane, just throw some tin foil around it, throw it in your purse, take it to the beach, super great for travel. And a lot of my male clients during the day, they're either out and about or they want to take lunch to work. This is a great way to throw leftover salads, hummus, anything that is in your fridge. And it's a great way to, um, you don't have to, one of my male clients is, said he was getting salad all over him. What was a great way to hold a salad? So he loves this, okay? So pocket salad. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're staying away from bread and you want another option, these nori wraps are another great way to either smash some avocado on here, a little sea salt, any kind of carrots, veggies, spinach, anything you have in the fridge you can throw in here. And these are super fun to um, take with you. Even just avocado on here. My younger one loves just smashed avocado in here. If you have a little rice, you can throw that in as well. Make your own little sushi rolls. Yeah, yeah. that's super easy. They're great to have on hand. Yeah, and you can just throw them in a little plastic container or wrap them up and take them to go. Yeah. Nice. Okay, what else? Um, crackers. Everyone loves crackers. A lot of people have asked me through the years for cracker ideas. And many of you who have followed me for, for years on my blog know that I love Jill's crackers, one of my favorite crackers. What I'm so excited to share with you today is that Jill's has reinvented her packaging. So many, because her crackers are really clean with no preservatives in it, they tend to have a shorter shelf life. So this box is now available at most markets. On the East Coast, they're still looking for some distribution, so you might have to order it online. But on the West Coast, pretty much available everywhere. What they've done is now these individual packets, which are so great for travel on the plane, yeah. with hummus, little cups of hummus you can take with peanut you, butter, great for the beach, butter. peanut butter, almond butter, great to pack in your kids' lunches or even for camp. So these are super great for travel. And the product stays fresher longer. Right? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, because yeah. the packaging before was like, once you opened it, it was all exposed. Yeah. yeah so this is great. So Jill's, one of my favorites is her cracked pepper and sea salt, and she has a couple other flavors as well, and you can find these at Whole Foods, online, Amazon, and some of your other favorite health food stores. Yeah. All right, what else? Uh, let's talk about Mary's Gone Crackers. This is another cracker that's really fun to travel. It's healthy. What I like about Mary's is no sugars, it's a clean product, and Many of you have known Mary's because they've been around for a long time, but this is her new brand and it's called Super Seed, so there's no soy in this one. It also has a little bit more protein because there's some seeds in here, pumpkin seeds. This classic is my favorite and there's also a, um, the nori one. It's nori and cilantro, which is really nice too. I've tried that one. Yeah, the nori blend is really nice. It's seaweed and it's really good for detoxification. It has cilantro, seaweed in it. And, uh, yeah, so those Yummy. are fun. Okay. Power snacking. So, along with having bars to take with you or little snacks on the beach, these power snacks by Navitas are another so good. really good product. Have you tried these? Yeah, yeah those ones? are really good. Yeah. The packaging is a little bit different now and they're pretty big chunks and you can cut them in half two or three really just hit the spot if you want something sweet after you eat and there's no refined sugar in these as well they're made up of dates and nuts and seeds and some this one is cacao goji so there's a little bit of cacao and goji berry in this there's also a hemp blueberry really great Anyone without a nut allergy is really, yeah, two or three, just really mm -hmm. nice, keeps your blood sugar balance, fun, okay. sweet, nice, and it just, it's just good for a little bit of energy during the day, and you want to take it with you on the beach, too. Okay. Cool. Fun. Okay, so I brought with me, as well, these travel packs of almond butter. Do you 
you don't remember? I do. Yeah. yeah. But we use a different brand. Yeah, so there's many brands available, and you'll find some of the most popular brands out there. My recommendation for you today, one of the hot tips I want to leave you with, is be sure to read labels. Because things can be deceiving, and some of the almond butter packets or almond butter products out there have palm oil and added sugars. What is the palm oil? What, is the, what are the negatives of palm oil? Well, it depends on how it's made, hydrogenated palm oil and some of the palm oil. Palm oil actually comes from coconuts, so it can be good. There are some products, um, MCT or XCT. Actually, it, it, it's, it's in a farm that's processed, and it's not okay. really good for you. It's, it's, not it's, re it's not natural. Right. It's really meant to be a preservative as well and also an additive to stretch out the product. So that's why it's like, because peanut butter generally you can leave in the pantry, you don't have to mm -hmm. refrigerate it, so that's probably what it's... Yeah, and also it helps it probably from really. not emulsifying <laughs> and separating. If you are buying this Artesana product or any of the almond butters, you do want to squeeze the packet before you open it because the oil does separate. And I like this brand because it is organic, it's raw, it has a really nice nutrient profile to it. it tastes really good it's great with apples berries you can take these in your suitcase they're great for travel on the plane to the beach anywhere in a car ride they're great and it's really great to have one of these in your car so yeah. if you're ever caught somewhere and your blood sugar is dipping and you need something to eat you can just squeeze a packet of this and yeah. boom you're feeling a lot better. I do better, that right? actually yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. A couple and actually, sometimes you can heat up one of these sheets and put a little almond butter on it, which is really nice. These sheets also, these are called wraps, the wraps. Um, they also, whoops, wraps. <laughs> and these are raw, and they actually come in cinnamon, banana, raisin, which oh, is really nice wow. for breakfast. That yeah. could be another really nice breakfast treat with the almond butter. And you said to just, like, heat this up on a... Like a saucepan on the stove top, or top it in the oven, or I do it directly right on the stove top. Oh, just, just like, like on a, the flame, like a like quick you would flip. a tortilla, right. quick ten seconds on each side, which softens it up, and okay. it stays really soft during the day as well. If you do that, that's awesome. Okay, so that's pretty much some of the snacks I purchased and brought with me today for you, and. You had some thoughts about some nuts, too, right? How to store nuts? Yeah. Have, yeah. We were trying to figure out how we could best collaborate and um, figure, you know, we're going to do another video probably, like a whole pantry reorg type of healthy pantry makeover. But for now, for your snacks, if you want to, you know, incorporate more healthy foods just for yourself and not for your whole family, um, you know, you want to make it really easily accessible. So try and put your things away. Let me grab yeah. this. So while Stacy's grabbing that, I um, just want to invite you also, if you're not here live, to feel free to comment on this video and share with us anything you're looking for learning about in the next couple of weeks and months, because we're going to do some definitely going to do some stuff together and we really are here just to serve and inspire I've been working with a lot of clients behind the scenes and transforming lives one at a time and I just thought how fun would it be just today to get out inspire our friends and you know everyone out there people we know people we don't know yet to just live a healthier life and a happier life yeah for sure yeah. and the less junk and the yeah. less stuff the Less mess. <laughs> yeah. Simplifying Inside your life. Out. Yeah. yeah. Your Inside health, out. your home, your your head, whatever. Unplug from social media, whatever it is that you need to kind of um, do a little cleanse for is always a Cleansing. good thing. Yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, I love using containers like this that you can pick up at, you know, anywhere from Target to... I love going to stores like Marshalls and Whole Foods, I'm not Whole Foods, Marshalls and Home Goods and those kind of stores because they always have so many great, like, organizing things. Um, take these out of the box. Yeah, like these, all your snacks 
designate a special place for your own stuff. And then, you know, you can kind of stash it away if you don't want your, your spouse or your kids to get into your stash. Um, but yeah, you can organize things like this, keep it all in one box, your box um, in the pantry. Things for like having um, nuts are so great. I always love to have a lot of nuts around because I do get low blood sugar and I need to eat regularly. Um, and having little containers, <laughs> containers like this that just keep everything you know, fresh, sealed tight, and I get a bag of nuts and usually put them in a jar like this. And again, these kind of things are really easy to find at Target, at Bed Bath & Beyond, Container Store, TJ Maxx. Um, and then, you know, any kind of containers are great. Like this is great for the granola. You could put this in here and then it's just easier to grab and seal up. Yeah, it keeps it fresher too, right? Yeah, especially these, because mm -hmm. these have these. Um, but yeah, all these airtight containers are nice, and they keep your pantry nice and neat, and everything just really accessible. So when you got to run out the house, like so many of us do every morning, um, we have a minute to think about taking care of ourselves and keeping ourselves fed and cared for. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so basically our intention today is just to share some fun things, get things rolling, inspire you to live a healthier, happier life, and by sharing with you what's available, because a lot of times I think people get overwhelmed about what's available in the stores and is gluten-free good, is dairy-free good, what is good, what is not good. And so basically I want to leave you with this, is just be your own health advocate and read labels. If sugar is the number one or number two ingredient, you might want to put it down. So look for things that are clean label, ingredients that you recognize, five or seven ingredients at the most, and use whole foods where you can, not just whole foods as a store, but whole foods meaning whole food ingredients, things that are made up of things that are really easy and accessible. And right now is a great time with summer, there's a lot of great farmers markets and summer fruits and it's a, a great time to be healthy and have a taste great and really enjoy your summer with healthy summer snacks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No. Yeah. So thanks yeah. Marilyn. This thanks. was fun. And, this is fun. Um, we so fun. will, you know, plan on doing some more collaborations. If you guys have any questions for any of us, feel free. Yeah. to post or reach out to either one of us where all of our information is available on our own Facebook page. Yeah, so. definitely reach out. Again, my website is marlindias.com. I also am on Instagram at Marlin Wellness. And I'm just starting to get out on social media a little bit more. Like I said, I've been uh, behind the scenes working with clients and groups and doing lots of live events, but it's time to show up a little bit more on social media. Spread the love. And spread the love, <laughs> baby. Happy July 4th weekend to everyone, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.